that's it right there. There are military trucks. Whoa. All right, so I'm not going to go any further than this, but there's military trucks up there with... Yeah, look at the truck coming right now. Yeah, it's coming. Wow. Restricted area. That's crazy. Yeah, that guy's coming out. This just got sketchy fast, dude. What is going on guys? It's Brandon Jay, and today we are gonna be metal detecting the outskirts of Area 51. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably saying, Brandon, this is a terrible idea. You can get a lot of trouble. This is dangerous. You could get abducted by aliens. And to be honest, <laughs> You're probably right. All of those things are very true. However, today we're going to be going on the outskirts, the very closest limit you can get to Area 51 before it's considered trespassing and you go to like military prison or something like that. If you guys are new to my channel, this is very different for me. I normally do treasure hunting adventures underwater with my friends. We kind of travel all over the place, find stuff people lose like iPhones, GoPro, stuff like that. However, since I've had this metal detector, I've never metal detected above water so like just on the ground and being that storm area 51 is going to be happening in a few days i thought it'd be really interesting to come out here metal detect on the outskirts of area 51 and see if there's anything that we can potentially uncover hey baby hello oh my you gosh dude aliens? oh my gosh dude <laughs> doc just came freaking running up on us oh my gosh hey baby come here baby come here puppy we just found our first terrestrial <laughs> critter <laughs> a little dog literally just came out of nowhere in the middle of the desert <laughs> he seems happy and he's super nice so <laughs> we got our first alien of the trip <laughs> right here but um <laughs> i got something really exciting since this is such a like wild adventure i wanted to do something really cool we came up with a new piece of merch uh it is a very limited edition run a special jiggin with jordan area 51 shirt we've got the very first logo i had when i started my youtube channel getting beamed up by a ufo and on the back we have a big slimy alien creature jigging fish so it's gonna be very limited edition if you guys want this gonna be linked down in the description below make sure you guys check it out because once they are gone they are gone what do you think pup you want to go search area 51 with us okay puppy go find the aliens go get them all right, really quick, I wanna make a deal with you guys. If we can get 10,000 likes on this video, I'm staying on the strip in Las Vegas. If we can get 10,000 likes, I will find somewhere to scuba dive and make a traditional treasure video here in Las Vegas. So it might be a giant water fountain outside of the hotel. It might be a swimming pool. It might be a lake somewhere out here if that even exists. But if we can get this video to 10,000 likes, I'll make sure to make that happen for you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize for the wind just because it is so bad. It's just the weather here. And uh, right now, we're gonna go into the Area 51 store. We're gonna go check that out. We're gonna fuel up the rental car. We are gonna drive 200 miles to the outskirts of Area 51, and then we're gonna metal detect. I want you guys to comment below what you guys think we're gonna find. There is no telling, man. I'm, I'm freaking stoked about this, man. last time we can fuel up i think we have almost 200 miles or something like that before we get where we're going so there's no more gas stations we got to be real careful with our miles on the car <laughs> we're getting every last little drop bro every last little drop see all these people with these campers right here what is that you know what i mean like what are they doing what's their what's their plan with something like that that looks like an alien <laughs> the camper the camper itself looks like a freaking alien i'm just saying people that have that type of stuff like they're chilling out here. Like what do you do? There's nothing out here. We had to drive freaking a hundred something miles just from Las Vegas where we're staying. That's the closest place to stay. All right, so here it is officially. Two hours, six minutes of travel to get to area 51. And of course we're gonna have to stop on the outside. It's uh, just because <clears throat> you can't get in it. There's gonna be stopping signs and we're just gonna stop there and start our metal detecting. We'll show you guys what we find along the way. So, the we're. You want me to get on that side? No, no, no. They're on the other side. Uh, I don't think we can U-turn. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. they're still there, dude. They're still there. All right. So there's a ton of cops, like a ton of like people at the gate. You got it, Malcolm? Got it. Oh my gosh. You want to go out of my window? I'll get down. 
there there's so many and there's like an observation deck on that mountain over there oh my gosh bro that is a checkpoint too like that's that's the main one that's got to be the main one but it's an open road you see it i should have went down it <laughs> dude nuts man that is sick. <laughs> now honestly it's been so clear but i think that's like our first uh it's our first like sandstorm up there that's it whoa dude that's it right there look at that that's it right there there are military trucks whoa all right so i'm not going to go any further than this but there's military trucks up there with yeah look at the truck coming right now yeah it's coming wow restricted area that's crazy man that guy's coming out this just got sketchy fast, dude. He's out there looking. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I guess I can just turn around, but I mean, I, I just thought it was interesting to say the least. Oh gosh, now there's multiple freaking cars coming. All right. I I thought it was a lot closer than that. I mean, I thought it was a lot further than that. Wow. All right, we're gonna turn around. I don't want to get too close because. Honestly, that's scary, dude. My freaking heart is is I'm in the pounding. bottom of my freaking throat right now. Things just got really scary. That that truck came Proceed to the, to the route. that truck came to the door immediately. Malcolm's got the long lens capturing like the police at the gate. Sketchy, really sketchy. I didn't want to get in get in like too close. Like I said, that just got weird, bro. That did. That got really weird. Looking in there, turning around, going back. Dang, bro. And then they turn off the lights. Wow. Yeah, they just, that was that was the tactic. You saw that? Wow. They pulled up with the lights. When we came up close, they're like, don't even think about it, bro. Wow. Now that we're driving away, they turned off the lights. Oh my gosh, bro. That is so scary. Bro. Dude, that is scary. I, bro, this is real life. This is real, real. Oh my gosh, bro. Down. Yeah, they just went back to their spots. They said, bro, don't even think about it. Oh God, dude, I gotta breathe, dude. I gotta freaking breathe. We could we could probably metal detect out here. There's like little roads and stuff. I'm not gonna go on any more roads like that. Oh my God, dude. We just got freaking way intimidated by that. Those trucks pulled up and we're like, nah, bro. They're not even messing around. Bro. No, they are not playing around. The raid is like not today, but it's coming. We've got all the people in the RVs right here, which makes sense that they're here, because I thought they would be closer, but dude, with that, no. They blocked it out hundreds of miles. Dude, hundreds of miles. They are not wanting anybody even close. Freaking sand tornado way out there. Oh yeah. See it? Heck yeah, I've been wanting one of those. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna hop out of the truck right now, do some metal detecting, and see what we can find. I'm already freaking sketched out, so I don't want any more, no, no more drama, no more situations. Just a couple motorcycle dudes stopping right here. And uh, this road that we're on is the road that's a mile away from the entrance. Make sure there's no snakes under this. I have no idea what this is. be something really good I was I was convinced dude I was convinced that was gonna be a banger that's old man that's old old all right we're gonna keep moving but so far the weirdest things we're finding are these little magnetic rocks this black one I just found right here like this is this is very strange for it to be magnetic smooth and just completely black like that I'm not sure what that is Rocks. 
seems to be just more rocks with magnets, man. I don't know what's up with that. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea. Here's oh, here's a question. Part of a car or space shuttle? <laughs> comment in the comment section below. <laughs> it's so windy out here, man. So there's all these big bushes and everything but I picked the smallest little bush I'm gonna give it some water <laughs> so hopefully one day it can be a big bush <laughs> just like all these other ones over here there you go little guy spiky all right let's go just like any of our other treasure videos every time we find anything whether it's trash or treasure we make sure we don't leave it even though this is area 51 in the middle of the desert we're still gonna go and uh, throw away all this trash so. Sandstorm over here, dude. Holy crap. Oh my god. Alright, guys. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. We officially did it. We went as close as we could to Area 51. We basically saw the camo dudes. They uh, turned on their police lights and scared us a little bit so we got out of there we metal detected the outside we found some really interesting stuff a bunch of little metal fragments I think the coolest thing was the metal rocks that were like little black rocks it was very very weird um, but we did it man we made it happen so uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about area 51 what do you think about the conspiracies the aliens the government and remember if we can get 10,000 likes on this video we are staying on the strip in Las Vegas I will go out and I will try to scuba dive. I'm not gonna try. I will go out and find somewhere to scuba dive in Las Vegas. So it might be a Las Vegas fountain at a hotel. It might be a swimming pool. It might be a lake with some stuff in it. I have no clue yet. But if we can get this video to 10,000 likes, I'll make sure to do that for you guys. I am completely covered in dust. Like I am just, I'm completely covered in it. <laughs> You're dusty. <laughs> Dude, look at my watch. Look at my watch right here. <laughs> it is so bad man it's so bad it's so dusty and crazy but I had so much fun man and one thing that I'm really excited about is the t-shirt for this video remember we got a special very limited run of Jiggin and Area 51 collaboration merch so if you guys want that it's gonna be linked in the description below we're only doing it for a limited time only so you got to get them now because they'll disappear forever and uh, you guys are seeing this video which means Malcolm and myself did not get abducted by aliens praise the Lord Praise the Lord. <laughs> and with that being said, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is honestly unreal. We came all the way out here just to do this and we had to send it for this video, man. And it kind of paid off. So thank you guys again. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace out. Oh my God, dude. We just got freaking way intimidated by that.